and welcome, Rangers, to the Zordon Files. I'm Joe, here with me is my co-host, Dan. Hello and greetings. We won't delay ourselves when it comes to getting to the main meat of the topic. We're just going to dive in. Now, in the Zeo Crystal Quest story, at the start of Zeo, Aisha ends up taking the Zeo Crystal she was sent to fetch from deep in Africa and uses it to transport Tanya to the command center. Now, she ends up utilizing the Zeo crystal powers. I wonder about, though, is does that mean that Aisha counts as the first Zeo Ranger 2 yellow? I would argue yes, because she would have had to make a, connect, a, a connection. connection with the Zeo crystal in order to not just transfer it to Tanya, but to send Tanya over to the other Rangers. Yeah, okay, so that means... She may not have morphed, but she counts as the original ranger, a yellow ranger of Zeo. Now, what I wonder is, though, does this mean at some future date we might see a Zeo Aisha in a comic book or something? It would be certainly interesting, right? Mm-hmm. I would love to see that. Now, not to diminish Tanya, she was a really good yellow ranger, and she really owned the Zeo and Turbo Crystals. Well, powers, I should say. But the thing that I find would be interesting would just be, it would allow us to see more of Aisha. As to Tanya, I think that she's still be, she would still be the definitive yellow Zeo Ranger. And mm -hmm. in some ways, I think of her as the definitive yellow Turbo Ranger. I don't mind Ashley, but Tanya just, I think, had a bit more personality to her. Yes. Although, in turn... I think Aisha had probably the most personality of all the Yellow Rangers. Mm-hmm. And that has to do with just how much spunk they poured into Aisha. She was essentially the Power Rangers equivalent of Rogue from the X-Men. I mean, that entire scene in uh, the movie where she defeats Ivan Ooze, that adds a lot. Yes. Thing is, though... If she tapped that crystal, does that mean she's kind of connected as well to the turbo powers? Because the yellow turbo power derives its power from the Zeo crystal. So hmm. while Aisha never became yellow turbo, what kind of connection does this give her to the yellow turbo abilities? I don't know, because she has a connection with uh, the Zeo crystal. She made that conscious connection. Yeah, she transferred it over to some someone else. But it's still there in her because it's a spiritual energy source. And spiritual ranger powers are there for life. Mm -hmm. so, whereas scientific ones are temporary and can be destroyed. Does this mean that there's an indirect connection to yellow turbo? Or because it's the, of the nature of the scientific ranger powers, turbo's only connected to Tanya. Mm -hmm. Despite having a slight connection to an, a spiritual energy source. Yeah, because Zordon made the Turbo uh, Morphers. And he, he calibrated the Yellow Morpher to Tanya. Fair enough. But that said, the scientific morphers are never just for one person. You can swipe it and you can morph. That's probably been proven a few times, I think, in later seasons. Yeah, that's a good point. So, that said, though, not to mention... Rocky was the one whom the blue turbo powers would have been calibrated for, but Justin was able to use them. The thing with the Aisha touching the Zeo crystal, though, it does open up a whole can of worms and mm -hmm. a very fascinating couple of can of worms, but it's not one we're going to continue mm -hmm. stretching out in this video. So if you enjoyed this video, do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And tell us what you think of this topic. Mm -hmm. Do you think of Aisha as the original Yellow Zeo Ranger or Tanya as the only one that counts? It's okay to agree or disagree with us. We'd be very curious to see what you think in the comments below. And remember, Rangers, may the power protect you.